A tech industry battle is taking shape over the metaverse. What is the metaverse? Uh, metaverse. In the metaverse. Metaverse. The metaverse will be the successor to the mobile internet. A metaverse is essentially a massive virtual world that can be accessed in real time by millions of people using avatars. The concept is rooted in science fiction movies like Ready Player One. A whole virtual universe. But now it's playing out in the real world. Facebook just changed its name to Meta to better reflect its expansion into the metaverse. And it joins companies like Roblox, Epic Games, and Microsoft in planning to spend billions to be at the forefront of building out these virtual realms. I think we're um, still in the beginning stages of this, and so a lot of what's happening is still just competition, if you will, between the companies to like establish themselves in the metaverse. But how exactly will the metaverse work? And why do tech giants see it as the next evolution of the internet? For the metaverse, it is a convergence of physical and digital, almost like your, your digital lifestyle catching up to your physical lifestyle in some ways. Kathy Hackle is the chief metaverse officer and CEO of the Future Intelligence Group, a consulting company that provides strategic insight for companies navigating the metaverse space. It is enabled by many different technologies like augmented reality, virtual reality, blockchain, obviously NFTs play a big part there, AI, 5G, cloud computing. So it's not just about one technology, it's not just one thing. For now, most metaverse virtual spaces will look more like the inside of a video game than real life. And some big tech executives envision the metaverse as an interoperable open platform. This means no one company or organization will own it and avatars will be able to move freely between metaverse virtual spaces. There's all these different platforms, and the question is sort of how do you connect all those and whether it's going to be possible to jump from, you know, you have your avatar in Roblox, can you, you know, somehow cross through and get to Facebook through that? Are the platforms going to be connected? In some ways, the metaverse is already here. Immersive games like Fortnite and gaming platforms like Roblox include metaverse-like elements where gamers can use avatars to play games and attend events or use digital currency to buy products. Roblox and Fortnite, so they kind of, I guess some would say have a leg up already because they already have these huge user bases and they have the platform developed. You know, they're not building something from scratch. And so I think that's a huge advantage for them. So they're mostly, I think, just focused on developing these in-app experiences or these games. For instance, Roblox recently unveiled what will be a huge overhaul for its avatar system, allowing players to be more lifelike and customizable. Our vision goes well beyond play. We're imagining a place where people learn together, where people work together. Meanwhile, Epic Games, which owns Fortnite, announced it raised $1 billion in funding to support its vision for the metaverse. They recently made announcements that um, they're going to start to look at potentially working with blockchain developers. So that in itself is a big signal of some level of openness. Facebook's name change reflects its ambition of being a big player in the metaverse race. We believe the metaverse will be the successor to the mobile internet. We'll be able to feel present, like we're right there with people, no matter how far apart we actually are. The company, which already owns Oculus VR, is spending billions on other VR company acquisitions and hardware development. And it plans to create 10,000 jobs in the European Union over the next five years to build the virtual space. We expect to invest many billions of dollars for years to come before the metaverse reaches scale. The company's expansion into the metaverse comes amid intense criticism over revelations in the Wall Street Journal Facebook file series, which showed the company knows its platforms are riddled with flaws that cause harm. CEO Mark Zuckerberg has said that the criticism paints a false picture of the company he co-founded. It would be in the best interest of the company to kind of make sure that they maybe distance themselves from you know the Facebook app and some of the things that, that have come to light. Zuckerberg says the name change reflects the company's goals to move beyond social media apps. Building our social media apps will always be an important focus for us. But right now, our brand is so tightly linked to one product that it can't possibly represent everything that we're doing today, let alone in the future. Other companies like Microsoft are focusing on strategic game company acquisitions that could give them a foothold in the metaverse space. The company already has a history in the gaming world. It created the popular video game console, Xbox. They 
closed like a $7.5 billion deal on the video game company ZeniMax Media earlier this year. And they also were previously in talks to buy Discord. And in March, Microsoft announced its new Microsoft Mesh platform, which enables shared experiences on any device through mixed reality applications. Accelerated interest in the metaverse was fueled in part by the pandemic. While stuck inside, people spent more time online. Roblox reported 42.1 million daily active users in Q1 of 2021, a 78% increase from the same time the previous year. So the pandemic really kind of set us forward a couple of years in people understanding the convergence of digital and physical, right? And, the, and really for us to really think about the future of the internet, what comes next? For now, the shared ambitions of these giant corporations are setting the stage for a high stakes race to create this digital world. The metaverse is gonna impact every vertical and every industry in some way, right? That's gonna impact the way we socialize, the way we work, the way we have fun. So it is gonna to touch you know, almost every aspect of our lives.